so good. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I wasn't excited because I was. It was just really just being back out there what made me excited. Getting to put this uniform back on and running out that tunnel. That's what made me excited. Did you appreciate football in a different way than totally. you did before? Last, what happened last year? Totally. Uh, it's way different. That, that situation definitely opened up my eyes and like I said, it made me not take this for granted. So it really. Not gonna lie, that situation, I'm, I'm happy it actually happened. I really am. I know your mom was a little apprehensive when you returned last year. Is she fully on board with, with uh, you playing this year? Uh, yeah, she she just wanted me to make sure, like I said, take my time, get, don't rush back into it. If I feel some type of way, if I feel like yeah. it's making a relapse to say something to the doctors, so I've been pretty good on that. Was there a moment tonight that you're able to look around and say, like, I'm, I'm finally back? Man, as soon as I walk, Going through warm-ups, you know, it was like, wow, walking out there, I'm like, I can play this time. I'm not dressed up in just a jersey standing on sideline. So that was a big moment. Do you, do you feel more free in this defense than you did last year? Yeah, I feel a lot free, you know. Just defense is basically about being after you. That's all it is. Just getting to the ball and running, straining, like you said. Bottom, that's our bottom line, straining to the ball. That's less thinking? Is. Less thinking, a lot less. <laughs> what was the toughest part about last year or the toughest time last year? Um, for, me, well, for me, it was just not being able to play and trying to stay stay positive about it. Uh, you know, I had to I had to talk to my mom a few times about it because I, I, was, I was hurting. I, I couldn't play. And, you know, sometimes you just got to make sure you stay focused and have people in your corner to keep you focused because it's easy to get off track, especially just coming to college and you know, you come here to play, and then you can't play. So, you know, what am I doing? You can't play, you can't practice. So, yeah. Besides your mom, who helped get you through that? Uh, everybody here, all the coaches, the team, everybody. They can't wait to have you back. Uh, hearing that and just staying, keeping myself focused really helped me. You, you, both, you had two situations, obviously. Both were... They had to be debilitating to you. Man. Which one do you think was more of the man? I'm just over this. Was uh, the second one was that harder on you than the first one? Yeah, I think um, the first one was hard. Just, just like hearing hearing the doctor say, I, I didn't know what blood class was. So I'm thinking yeah, like, yeah. what is that? <laughs> so hearing that just I immediately broke down. But when they told me I could come back and they having a relapse, I think the relapse was the What's the worst part? Because I played, you know, played three games and boom, out again. Can't play for it. I'm sitting out the whole year, right. spring and everything. So I feel like that was the biggest. Was the biggest. Do you think just the way you played at TCU last year? Do you think that made it worse, knowing that man? I feel like I'm back. And you're just like, damn. Yeah, there you yeah. Go. yeah, that uh, definitely made it worse. You know, playing them games, you like, okay, I'm back. I can, like, I can play. I can play at this level. And yeah. seeing that, then having it taken away from me again.